The end of the season is drawing near as we enter the second to last regular season game for the UTSA Roadrunners here in week 13 on the road to face the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. And this is also UTSA's final conference game on the season as they come into this week 8-2 looking to make it possible double digit wins if they can collect wins this week and next week at Texas State to finish the season. But today, UTSA will go for win number nine over the six and four Bulldogs. They're riding a four game winning streak after last week's win over Rice, 27 to 26. We'll be in week 13 very shortly. We are now into week 13. Louisiana Tech has the football thrown 25 yard line. Deshay Lander, the quarterback out of the shotgun on first down and 10. He'll hand off to Gaston on the first play of the game. Then he goes up the middle, cuts to the left outside for a gain of 10. On second and long, they spread it out, and out of the shotgun handoff, the powers this time. Left side looking for room, not much there, and Butler stops him for a gain of three. And now third down and nine for Deshea Landor, he'll fire outside, he's got Walker on the sideline in Roadrunner territory, open for a first down catch. And second and one, it's a pistol formation in the fake handoff from Landor, now he looks to run, he has the first down and slides ahead of Dallas Johnson. First down for the Bulldogs. Landor pumps left, in the pocket, good protection, now wants to run again, he makes men miss, up to the first down, he's got it, he's tackled by Brandon Ford. Good drive on this first possession for Louisiana Tech, and now Landor on first and ten, he's got Keontae Griffin inside the ten, first down for the nation's second leading receiver. Griffin comes into this game with 101 catches, now has 102, first down and goal for Landor, he's in trouble, Anthony Allen in the backfield, and it's a sack, and UTSA will back him up. Now third down and goal for Deshea Landor. At the 22 yard line, fires to the end zone. It's almost picked off by Kyle Nichols. The pass is incomplete. The Bulldogs will settle for a field goal in their first possession. The kick is up and good for Jared Terry. And the Bulldogs have a three nothing lead after their 12 play drive. And now we'll see the UTSA offense for the first time today. Eric Hancock comes in, 20 touchdowns, 10 picks. He hands off to Banks on first down the middle for a gain of six. And now third down and four. Here's the blitz from the Bulldogs. And Hancock gets a throw off and it's hauled in by Trevor Stevens for a first down. Second down and four. It's Moss in the backfield. He takes the carry up the middle. Has some daylight of first down across midfield. And now in Bulldog territory. Delayed handoff, a draw to Banks. Looking to go outside. Shakes one defender, a gain of five. And now second down. Moss in the game once again. Hancock back to throw. The blitz gets to him and he's dropped for a sack. A loss of nine. And we're seeing UTSA go to more of a running back by committee look now as they're getting a lot of guys touches. Third and 14 for Hancock. Pretty good coverage. He steps up and he'll take the one yard sack. Good defense for the Bulldogs. After forcing UTSA to punt, it's Bulldog football. Landor option right. And he pitches it back to Gaston who will lose seven. After the disastrous option, it's third and forever. They need 17 yards. Plenty of protection for Landor, and he's going to roll to his right now. Fire it deep, and the pass is intercepted by Dallas Johnson at the 45. Into Louisiana Tech territory on the return and taken down to the 38-yard line. Roadrunner football. And now I formation for Eric Hancock as he hands off to Anthony Banks. Looking on the left side for room, and he has about five yards. Second down to medium for Hancock, twin tight end set. He drops back to throw, and now fires it outside, and open is Whitaker. He makes the catch of the 24-yard line, first down runners. It's third down and eight as Randy Jones is slot right. Hancock takes the snap, here's the blitz. He barely gets a throw off, it's caught by Banks to the 15, close to the 10, and shoved out of bounds just shy. They'll call on James Benson to tie this game, and the short kick is up, and it is good. Tie ball game. Three apiece now in the second quarter, 6.27 to play. Landor fakes the handoff, now throws. Open is Grogan coming across the middle, across the 45. First down, Bulldogs. Both Keontae Griffin and Lloyd Grogan coming to this game with very impressive numbers as Landor drops to throw on first down. Now he has to scramble, and he has room to the 35, close to the 40, and driven down for the first down. And UTSA has to get a spy or something to help stop this, and this time they have Landor, who was a quarterback keeper, and Carter was all over it. In the past against running quarterbacks, UTSA has had Dominic Carter in the spy for most of the game, and Landor runs again, and this time it's Ford and Carter to combine for the tackle. Third down and 11 as UTSA is clamping down on the quarterback run game. Landor back to throw from midfield. He fires outside, and Keontae Griffin makes the catch beyond the 30, and the chains will move. And Griffin is going to be tough to handle for this UTSA defense. He's been dominating defenses all year. And now Landor on first down. He can't find any room to run. And he's sacked by Anthony Allen. 
two sacks on the day so far for Allen as UTSA is getting after the quarterback third and 14 now for Landor outside he's got Walker but he was just shy of the first down and the Bulldogs will go for it. I formation, handoff to Gaston, he breaks a tackle in the backfield, has the first down and the chains will move. Dallas Johnson had the chance. This drive still alive for the Bulldogs, it's second down and 10. Handoff to Gaston, looking for room off the edge. To the right side, met by the safety Mike Butler and taken down for a gain of six. Third and four, the bunch up the left side and now a false start penalty on Louisiana Tech as they'll back up five more. Now it's third down and nine. Shotgun for Landor. He drops back to throw a four-man rush from the runners. He dumps it off to Powers, and UTSA converges and takes him down two yards shy. Fourth down. And they'll call on the kicker again, Jared Terry. And the kick is up and through. 6-3 Bulldogs in this field goal frenzy. Neither team has been able to score a touchdown so far in the first half. We'll see if UTSA can change that before halftime. They have about 60 seconds to do so. Here's Banks on second down. He picks up about six off the edge. And now third and four, Hancock goes to the gun, Jones's slot left. Here's the snap to Hancock, he's under pressure and dropped by Vernon Butler. And we're going to go to the half in this low scoring affair, 6-3 Louisiana Tech on top. Defenses are playing very well, both teams are getting after the quarterback, and we'll see how this game unfolds in the second half, but for now Louisiana Tech is on top. 6-3 as we begin the third quarter as Jared Terry kicks off to the UTSA Roadrunners. It's Danny Moss about four yards deep in his own end zone. He'll take it out, go up the middle, not much room, and he stopped at the 19. First down for Eric Hancock. A quiet first half for the offense, and now Banks on the first carry of the third quarter. He goes up the middle for a gain of eight. They need three here on third down. Jones is slot right. Hancock. With time, now fires to Jones, who's open and drops the football at the 41, and it's a fourth down, three and out. Missed opportunity for UTSA to convert, and now the Bulldogs have the ball at their three-point lead. Landor fakes outside, and now looks to take off. He has the first down and more to midfield into UTSA territory. First down, Bulldogs. And UTSA now stacking the box, looking to stop the quarterback again, and Landor wants the run, and UTSA is all over him this time. Bunched up receivers on the left side as Landor takes a step out of the empty set shotgun. He looks to run, but Brandon Ford is there, and he sacks Landor for a loss of five. We're seeing a lot of Brandon Ford in the spy today. He's been playing very well this season. Now third and 16, Landor along the walker, and he makes the catch, but it's only 13 yards. And surprisingly, they're going to send out Jared Terry. It's about a 58 or 59-yard field goal attempt. Here's the kick. It's up, and it is off the crossbar that close. What a kick by Jared Terry. That is the most impressive miss I may have ever seen in college football. But now it's Roadrunner football, and Hancock looks long, but overthrows his target, Robert Stanley. I just noticed they haven't called Darren Rose's name today. He's been awful quiet so far. Second and ten. Dumped off to Taylor. Gets a block now across the 50 to the 45. First down into Bulldog territory. And now we're seeing Vince Taylor in the backfield with Anthony Banks. And Hancock fakes to Banks. Now throws. He's got Stanley over the middle. He's fighting for the first down, and he gets it. Now out of the eye formation, it's Moss. Leading the way is Battle. It's a draw up the middle. And Stevens is up there, too. First down inside the 15. Nice drive for UTSA. Banks back in the backfield now as Hancock fakes the handoff. And now fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Roadrunners. It took us three quarters to get one, but finally a touchdown as Eric Hancock connects with his senior tight end, Trevor Stevens. Touchdown, UTSA. They have the lead. The first lead for the Roadrunners, and we have 3.34 to go in the third quarter. 10-6 UTSA is. What a catch by Horn over the middle. Oh, my goodness. He bobbled. They had to do a 180, and he made a phenomenal play. Jason Holmes almost stole this, but somehow Horn concentrated. I still need to recover after that catch by Horn. Landor to throw again, and Horn makes the catch. This time it's routine for a gain of six. Third down and four for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Landor takes the snap, and here's the blitz, and it gets to Landor. There's the sack, Brandon Ford. That time it was the double B-gap blitz. And now UTSA has the football, and they're playing with the lead. Ten to six, and off to Banks. Not a lot of room, but he does find four yards. Second down, twin tight ends for Hancock. He drops back, and now Hancock over the middle. Intercepted by Jefferson. Jumping and falling on his back. He robbed this pass intended for Stevens, and I don't know if Hancock saw him. Looked like Eric wanted Stevens coming across the middle. 
Big turnover, now the Bulldogs have the football. First down and 10 in UTSA territory. They send the blitz and Landor breaks the tackle, but this time it's Andre Ross after a gain of three. UTSA really focusing on stopping the run game and not allowing Landor to run. This time he hands it off to Gaston and he finds about six yards of room. Third down and one, will they run, will they pass? Shotgun for Landor. He looks to throw and he fires to Horn, who's underneath wide open. He's to the 25-20, brought down in the red zone. From the UTSA 14, empty backfield for Landor. Four-man rush from UTSA as they drop back and now Landor runs. And up the middle, he's met by Carter and he'll have the first down. Now a goal to go situation from the nine. Landor hands off to Gaston and he breaks a tackle from Butler. And then he's taken down at the seven. Third down and six. Gaston to the right of Landor out of the gun. UTSA sends the blitz, and Louisiana Tech counters the screen. It's Gaston to the one. He falls, and he will not break the plane, they say. Fourth and goal. That was awfully close. A perfect screen call, but there's Marvin Stokes who makes the tackle, and it looks like Gaston stumbles and was just shy of the goal line. They're going to go for it. Here in the fourth quarter, fourth and goal from the one. This is for the lead. Hand off to Powers. Up the middle. He breaks the plane. And Louisiana Tech has the lead. Touchdown, Bulldogs. The risk pays off. Both teams have finally scored a touchdown. It's 13-10. Louisiana Tech with six and a half to play. Hancock on second to eight outside. He's got Stevens to the 42. 45-50 brought down in Bulldog territory. And now battle in motion. A hand off to Banks. Up the middle. He runs into battle. And now collects five yards. Second and five, and now Moss is in the game. Hancock short step, drop, and he hits Whitaker in the back, and it's almost picked off the, off the deflection. Third down and five for your UTSA Roadrunners. Three wide for Hancock. He'll throw quickly, and it's caught by Stevens. Met of the 32 at first down, but it looks like Stevens could be shaken up. Stevens leaves the field. Looks like Carter and Todd are in the game. Two wide for Hancock. Second down, looking for room. He's going to take off and scramble, and he's brought down from behind after a gain of four. We don't see Hancock run too often, so it's always a surprise. Now Hancock hands off to Moss. Up the middle, he's got room. First down, UTSA. Three wide this time as Stevens is checked back into the game. And Hancock outside to Danny Moss. To the 10, and he's brought down. It'll be third and four. They need four yards to convert. Hancock out of the gun. Vince Taylor to his right. Here's the blitz off the edge, and he rolls right. Now fires end zone. Incomplete. And now we see the field goal unit. James Benson to tie the game, another short field goal. Newton holds, the kick is up, and it is good, 13 apiece. A little over three minutes remain as we have a tie game. Louisiana Tech on second down, Landor wants to run, flag down, not much room. Kellen Thomas takes him down, and it'll be a gain of zero, and a holding penalty on top of it. Third and 12 for Deshay Landor in Louisiana Tech offense. Here's the snap to Landor. And the receivers go deep and Landor fires it long. And it's tipped away and bobbled in incomplete. Fourth down. Great stop by the UTSA defense. They have the ball here. Tie game still 241 to play. Hancock, he's in trouble. And once again, it's Vernon Butler. Vernon Butler has been a problem today for UTSA and now second and long. Hancock, he's going to look long, firing deep to Stanley who can't all in at the Louisiana Tech 22-yard line. What will UTSA do on third and 16 inside their own third? Here's the blitz and once again, Vernon Butler. Still a tie game, 13-13, a little over two minutes to play. Landor fakes the draw and now wants to throw. He's got powers over the middle. He gets separation off of Ford and has the first down in UTSA territory. Under two minutes to play. New set of downs, three-man rush. Landor over the middle, he lobs it, and it's intercepted by Kyle Nichols on the return to the 40 and brought down just shy of the 45. And Landor took a chance and lobbed it long, but there was Kyle Nichols jumping in, leaping, and making the interception. UTSA is in control. Under two minutes to play, they have all three timeouts in this tie game. Hand off to Banks on first down. He tries to cut up the right side, but only gets about two yards. And now trips right for Hancock. Banks is to his right, and Hancock drops back to throw. Underneath is Robert Stanley to midfield. Brought down. He has the first down, though, in Louisiana Tech territory. Moss in the game. Hand off to Danny up the middle and quickly set down for a gain of maybe one or two. UTSA letting the clock run down. 16 seconds remaining. Third and seven for Hancock, and he's sacked. Loss of six yards at midfield, and that'll make it fourth down. 
This will be the last play of regulation. Either UTSA is going to win or we're going in overtime. Hancock from midfield takes the snap and he's sacked again by Vernon Butler. We're headed to overtime after Vernon Butler's fifth sack of the game. And this defensive showcase is headed to overtime. UTSA will make the call. They call tails and they will win the toss and elect to play defense first. Remember, both teams will get a chance to score no matter what happens. Louisiana Tech will get it first from the 25-yard line. Landor fakes the handoff and fires. Picked off! It's A.J. Brown on the first play. UTSA turns the Bulldogs over. And once again, it's the breakout red shirt freshman A.J. Brown covering one of the top receivers in the nation, Keontae Griffin. The slant covered beautifully. Interception, UTSA ball. We'll see what UTSA's approach is. James Benson, the field goal unit, is not out yet. Hand off to Danny Moss. Up the middle. Not much room. He might lose a yard. Now it's an I formation for UTSA. It's a handoff to battle up the middle. And once again, just no room. Third down and 10 I form for Hancock. Handoff. It's Moss up the middle. Not much room. He maybe gains one yard. For the win. 41-yard field goal attempt from James Benson. Snap down, kick is up, and it banks off the upright, and it's good! James Benson sends UTSA to their ninth win on the season, and it was a dramatic kick there off the upright that banked in for UTSA. We'll see the replay here as the kick starts to sail right but stays inside, and the UTSA fans can take a collective sigh of relief as UTSA has won the game here in week 13 and only one regular season game remains. Next week, UTSA will travel a very short distance to take on Texas State, the final game of the season in the I-35 rivalry. Thank you guys for watching. UTSA goes for win number 10 next week.